Hello all, in this video we will discuss microstates and macrostates. In statistical mechanics, we study the behavior of large systems by examining the characteristics of their individual particles. To understand this, we need to first define two important terms, microstate and macrostate. Let us first define what is a microstate. Microstates refer to the detailed individual configuration or arrangement of particles at the microscopic level in a system. A microstate is an individual configuration of particles that describe the precise positions and momenta of all the individual particles or components that make up the system. Each microstate has a certain probability of occurring during the course of the system's thermal fluctuations. A microstate refers to the specific arrangement of particles and their corresponding energies within a system at a given instant. It encapsulates the position, velocities and energy levels of every constituent particles. The number of microstates that a system can have is often very large even for a relatively small systems. Microstate gives microscopic details of a system. Now let's contrast this with macrostates. A macrostate is a description of the system in terms of observable macroscopic properties. It is a broader perspective focusing on the system as a whole without going into the specifics of individual particle positions. A macrostate is characterized by a probability distribution of possible states across a certain statistical ensemble of all microstates. This distribution describes the probability of finding the system in a certain microstate. A macrostate describes the system in terms of macroscopic properties such as temperature, pressure, volume and energy. It represents a broader picture of the system focusing on overall characteristics rather than the microscopic details. Macrostate gives macroscopic description of a system. Two systems with the same values of macroscopic parameters are thermodynamically indistinguishable. A macrostate tells us nothing about the state of an individual particle. The main distinction between a microstate and a macrostate lies in their level of description. Microstates deals with the microscopic details of a system while macrostates provide a macroscopic description considering only a few relevant variables. Let's illustrate this further with an example. Consider a container filled with the gas. A microstate of the gas would involve knowing the exact position and velocities of each individual gas molecule at a specific moment. On the other hand, a macrostate of the gas would involve describing it in terms of readily measurable variables like temperature, pressure and volume. For example, stating that the gas has a certain temperature and occupies a specific volume. As the atoms interact, microstate changes very rapidly, perhaps 10 to the power 35 times a second. But the observed macrostate doesn't change. Many different microstates all correspond to the same macrostate. This suggests we can calculate the macroscopic behavior of the system by averaging over the corresponding microstates. We can derive thermodynamics from the quantum behavior of the atoms and molecules. Microstates are like the detailed snapshots of a system capturing the intricate dance of particles at the atomic level. On the other hand, macrostates provide a more generalized view summarizing the system's properties without concern for individual particle details. It is important to note here that a single macrostate can correspond to multiple microstates. Various arrangements of particles can lead to the same macroscopic description. The distinction between microstates and macrostates is crucial in understanding the behavior of large systems. While it is impractical to track every microstate due to their enormous number, we can still gain valuable insights by analyzing the statistical properties of macrostates. To make these concepts more concrete, let us consider a classical example involving a six-sided die. Each side of the die represents a microstate and the overall arrangements of the die's faces 
regardless of their individual values is a macro state imagine now we roll this die the micro state would be the various possible outcomes rolling a 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 now the macro state is simply the result of the roll say getting an even number the macro states doesn't care about the specific number on the die it only considers the broader outcome let's take an example of flipping a coin twice if we flip a coin twice what outcome combinations do we expect it can be a head and tail both heads or both tails all micro states are equally probable but the macro states consist of the states without ordering of head and tail is twice as probable as the macro states with single states that is having both the heads or both the tails as outcome while micro states zoom in on the intricate details of particle configurations macro states provide a more generalized overview of the system understanding these concepts is crucial in statistical mechanics helping us analyze and describe the behavior of large systems in terms of their individual components microstates and macrostates play a fundamental role in statistical mechanics the concept of microstates allow us to understand the microscopic behavior of a system while macrostates provide a overall description do remember macrostate is an outcome specified of many probable microstates this is the precise relationship between macrostates and microstates the macrostate is indeed an outcome that specifies the collective behavior of many possible microstates so in essence a macrostate summarizes the outcome or the observable result and it can be realized by various arrangements of particles at the microscopic level the relationship between macrostates and microstates is a fundamental concept in statistical mechanics it provides a bridge between the microscopic and macroscopic descriptions of physical systems while microstate evolution is considered to be reversible a macrostate evolution tends to be irreversible due to increase in entropy as described by the second law of thermodynamics the distinction arises from the fact that macroscopic observations involve arranging over a vast number of microstates leading to a directional increase in entropy and a tendency towards disorder in the macroscopic systems thank you for watching this video